everybody, I'm Kim Horcher, and in today's fix of entertainment news, Marvel says Endgame was the final Avengers movie, which, uh... Mm, John Williams is back to Star Wars, and Stranger Things gets season 4 premiere dates. Are you ready for this? I am. That's why I'm the one doing it. <laughs> Marvel boss Kevin Feige says we've already seen the final Avengers movie. This came in the most recent episode of Marvel Studios Assembled, in which he said, quote, Marvel Studios and the Marvel Cinematic Universe is now past their 10th anniversary, and with the release of the final Avengers movie, we finally completed a 22 movie Infinity Saga. This is of course the scary headline. Oh no! No more Avengers? What will we do? I guess we love the Eternals now? But we are very skeptical about that being the case for several reasons. Marvel Studios Assembled is of course produced by Marvel and Disney for Disney Plus and therefore would never feature a true off-the-cuff scoop. Not to mention the amount of secrecy around every major MCU production. Please see, as just one example, Andrew Garfield's blatant and repeated lies about not being in Spider-Man No Way Home. Emma Stone and I will never believe you again. Here's what we think. Endgame was the last unqualified Avengers movie, meaning the possibilities are wide open for many Marvel Comics named Avengers variant teams such as New Avengers, Dark Avengers, Secret Avengers, Mighty Avengers, West Coast Avengers, Avengers 2099, The Ultimates, A-Force, and the one I think is clearly most telegraphed, Young Avengers. Lately, Marvel has been busy dropping Young Avengers teammates in across its various properties, including Kate Bishop, America Chavez, Elijah Bradley, Wanda's sons, Tommy and Billy, Kamala Khan, Riri Williams, Cassie Lang, and arguably a few others. As I touched on before, the MCU doesn't do or say things haphazardly, so these characters almost certainly have a future on screen, possibly under a different team name. And lastly, wow, what a stupid idea it would be to fully drop your flagship billion dollar generating property. That's never gonna happen. Similarly, director James Gunn has said Guardians 3 will be the last time we see that team lineup, but that doesn't mean the Guardians of the Galaxy are necessarily over. So while we probably have seen the last of the Infinity Saga, it's extremely likely we'll see different Avengers teams and individual members of the most famous Avengers lineup back in action at some point. Plus, what are they gonna do with the Avengers special font? Not use it? Waste it on AIM? I think not. Episode something, Return of the Composer. John Williams is coming back to Star Wars and this time composing the theme for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Variety reports that Williams secretly recorded in Los Angeles last week under tight security. Williams, who is 90, hasn't composed for any Star Wars property since 2019's Rise of Skywalker. While The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett used Williams' music, they were composed by Ludwig Göransson and Joseph Shirley. While Williams' swelling epic score is an extremely essential part of the Star Wars experience and mood, at least to me, he rarely scores any music for television, which makes Obi-Wan a notable exception. What isn't clear is if Williams composed any musical piece other than the theme for Obi-Wan, but I wouldn't be mad if Gorenson did some of the other music. Uh, he understands Tatooine, at the very least, which is the planet I guess we will never get away from. We'll hear for sure after Obi-Wan Kenobi premieres on Disney Plus May 25th. Stranger Things is set to return for season four on Netflix May 27th. It will be longer this time and the end of the series is in sight. Stranger Things 4 will be broken into two halves, the second of which will be released as a batch on July 1st, so at least the wait in between will only be five weeks. The Duffer Brothers also announced via Netflix's website that season 4's runtime will be almost double that of previous seasons, leaving us plenty more time to get frustrated with Mike's antics. The creative duo also announced season 5 will be the final season, but it's unclear when that will be released or if any of that has already been filmed. All I'm saying is they better hurry up because the kids who played 12, 13, and 14 in season 3 are now in their late teens and early 20s. The Duffer Brothers continued, it's also the beginning of the end. Seven years ago, we planned out the complete story arc for Stranger Things. At the time, we predicted the story would last four to five seasons. It proved too large to tell in four, but 
as you will soon see for yourselves, we are now hurtling toward our finale. Season 4 has 9 episodes, making the count similar to previous seasons, indicating most if not all episodes could be close to feature length. The upcoming storyline seems to be set 6 months after Season 3's Star Court finale. The gang is largely separated, dealing with high school and gruesome supernatural happenings, of course. And that's all for your fix of entertainment news for today. Thanks for watching, and now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our Obi-Wan teaser breakdown. Download the IGN app on all your devices, check out the entertainment fix on Snapchat, and for your next fix, we've got you covered over at IGN.com.